Who's that kanji? It's Go! Okay, so today we're going to look at the kanji for Go. As you can see, this one has many readings and meanings, but don't worry, we're not going to need all of this. Uh, those are just like all of the different possibilities for this kanji. But today we're only going to need a few of these. So the kunyomi are iku, the ku goes outside, yuku, the ku goes outside, yuki, the ki goes outside, and this is a continuation. Yuki, everything stays inside, and this is also a continuation. Iki, this is also a continuation, and the ki goes outside of the kanji. Another iki, and this is also a continuation, but everything stays inside of the kanji. Then we have okonau, where u goes outside, and another okonau, but here nau goes outside. And the onyomi are ko, gyo, and an. But for now, all we're gonna need is iku. There's also the word okonau, but that word is a bit more advanced, and I think if you're just learning this kanji, you're probably a beginner, so it's unlikely that you will need this word right now. Also, the reading ko will be used quite often, but for now, we don't know the other kanji from words where iku is read as ko. So for now, all you need is iku with the ku going outside of the kanji. And the meanings of the kanji are going, journey, carry out, conduct, act, line, row, and bank. And the only meaning we need is going, because for now we will just use this kanji for the word to go. We're gonna learn more words with this kanji later. So now let's look at the stroke order. So the first stroke goes like this, the next one goes like that, it's a little bit more sloped. And then the next one goes like that. Then the next stroke goes like this from left to right, another one from left to right but a bit longer, and then another one goes like this down, and then it goes up and to the left at the bottom. If you remember the kanji for moon, uh, we also had that little thing there at the end. So you have this stroke, and here like that right and then those two strokes so this thing is the same as that thing you will see something like this very often in kanji many of them use this so let's do that again so this one goes down and to the left then this one also down and to the left but a, a little bit more sloped then this one goes top to bottom then this one goes left to right this one also left to right and this one goes top to bottom, and then it goes up and to the left at the end. So now let's look at how you can remember this kanji. So the only hint I can give you here is I can tell you that the part on the left, this part here, means step. So, and then the whole kanji means to go, and that makes sense because when you go, you take steps, right? So hopefully that'll help you to remember this kanji. So now let's look at example words. So in this case, we only have the word iku, which means to go, and this uses this reading right here. So once again, it is iku, which means to go. So let me give you a couple example sentences for this word. So you could have a sentence like igirisu ni ikimashita, which means I went to England. And then you can have a sentence like issou ni ikimasen ka, which means shall we go together? Or if you translate it literally, it means won't we go together? So that's about it for today. Do you know this kanji? We'll see what it is in the next episode. Subscribe here so you don't miss it and check out the playlist with all of the episodes. Mata kondo!